guys, it's April. This is our last shirt box. Um, uh, we have done the onesie box, and I have done one for um, kids up to an extra small. And this box will hold anything from an, the um, medium child or the small child up to a 2XL. There's a 2XL in here, and there's still room, so you could probably still get a 3XL in here. Uh, it may just make it puffy, um, but there's plenty of room in there. And I, as a matter of fact, this is just my mock-up, so the actual file's been fixed a little. So you can see, I can still get my hand in there. And this one has just been taped together, not glued. Um, so I can still get my hand in there. So I'm going to say that you can get a 3X or a 4XL in there as well. So um, let's go ahead and make one. And this can be used without the handle if you just want to do the fold tab. Um, and then we have the handle. And I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. On this one, I'm going to be using some of the pretty paper instead of my mock-up there. And this is the nautical from Cricut. And then I used a piece of Cricut navy blue to match it as well. And then I have a large shirt here already folded. And just so you guys can see how I fold them, I fold them so that you can get about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yep, six inches wide. So if you fold it right here at the other side of the collar, you'll be able to get those in there. Um, just get creative with your folding and you'll get it in that box. I started just folding it over about, let's see, right there. And then I folded it over all the way down. And then I folded the shirt sleeve in right here. And then I just kind of folded this back, okay? Then I folded the other side over and matched it. And then I folded it back over again and then folded that sleeve, okay? So you can see that I have kind of, I don't know if you what kind of fold you'll call that, but I folded it in half and then folded some back so it wouldn't be bulky in the center. And then I folded this side over after I folded it. And then I just kind of fold it up until we got it into the size that I needed for my shirt. Now I've got it a little off. There we go. I don't know about, I guess about four inches is what I started with so that when I rolled it, yeah, it came out to six inches because it's going to be smaller in the center. So I rolled about four inches up when I started. All right, and then there's my little decorative pieces. And I'm going to start with the handle pieces just so they have time to dry. And you've got two of these. And you're going to fold mountain fold on that first one up, the first one up. And I had my bone folder. Here it is. I'm just going to give that a press. And then the second score line, you're going to valley fold. Okay, so you're going to fold that one towards you so that it's folded like this. And I apologize, got some things going on here. There we go. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. And that's what, what it's going to look like, okay? And we're just going to fold the other one the exact same way. I'm going to fold that top one towards us and the bottom one away from this mountain. Again, same thing. Then we're going to glue only the top half. Okay. And I have already reversed one of these in the file, so if you're using pattern paper, it'll work out fine. Or if you're using textured paper, it will work out fine. One of these is slightly longer than the other, so you'll be able to know if you haven't flipped it. If you're using smooth cardstock, make sure you flip it. We're just going to glue those together. It's going to look something like this when you're done. Okay, and we're just going to set that to the side to dry. And I did this so that if you uh, do craft shows or you sell, you can hang this. It's got a hanger on it um, so that you can hang up your boxes or you can leave this part off completely. 
and they make cute for gifts too. Okay, we're going to start with this one and you'll see all of your scores on there. And all of these scores at the top, right there, and this one are folded away from you. And it doesn't matter if you fold your tab over here, it's not going to hurt anything. I just put a little fold in that. You don't have to, but it's okay. Then the bottom will be folded away from you as well. Just like so. And then you've got two on the side, your tab, and right there you're going to fold those. Those are actually away from you too if you're looking at the right side of your paper. Um, I flipped it over. I don't want to confuse anybody. I'll just fold that. And then our tab. That one fold. There we go. Get it started here. And we're just going to give that a crease. And then you'll come back. And on this piece, this one has your little tab here. You've got a fold here. And then you've got one here. And I find it easier just to kind of work it and pinch it right here at this top and then push down right here on this corner, trying to make a, like a little corner there. And then give that a rub. So you can, all you're doing is folding that piece in, just like so. Okay. And then you can set this piece to the side and you're gonna grab your other panel Mine's trying to get away from me over here. And this one has a little extra piece over here. We're going to start here on the tab. And, oops, I missed my score line. Make sure you get it on the score line so your box will be square. I missed mine just a little bit there. Trying to fix it. It'll be okay. And then right here you have another one of those. It's just a small fold. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see. I'm just gonna fold the top, make it easier. Make sure you fold your top as well. And you can go all the way across on this one. And then just kind of tuck that. And I'm just kind of pinching it. And again, making it like a corner, just to get that to fold over. Give it a little press, and it should look just like that. Okay? Super easy. And now we're going to fold on this next vertical line. And then you have two over here, just like on the other one. One here. And then we're going to do that same fold. It kind of wants to go all on its own if you just push it. And then flip it over and give that a rub. And that's giving you that same fold that we had over there. And then these two are again folded away. So you got two pieces that look just like this. Okay. We're going to start with the one that has the tall tab on it. You can see one has the tall tab, one does not. And just put some glue all the way down. And if you're using large, large shirts, don't be stingy with the glue. You don't want your box to pop apart if you put a really big shirt in it and it is puffy a little bit. And then we're just going to line that up there and line up your scores down here. Right on that. Right on that score line. And I'm using Art Glitter Glue. You can get that at Amazon or at Art Glitter. Got a little drip of something there. Must have been from my drink. My green tea. <laughs> All right. 
Now we're just going to, I just give that a minute to dry. And I'm just going to fold this panel over. And then we're going to glue this tab as well. This one, you want to go all the way up to the top. Get your edges really good. And I know that looks like a lot of glue, but I'm using my fine tip, so it really isn't. And then we're just going to pull this in. I got off on my score line just a, just a touch. Yours should line up just fine. I'm gonna see if I can't get it to fix for me here. But you're just going to line yours up and glue it. My score line was slightly off. My fault, totally. That another rub. So now you have something that looks like this. Now we're going to go over to the bottom. Now one of these has a little angular cut on them and that would be the one that's on this tab piece. Okay, That's going to be folded in before this piece back here. Now start with your sides and then just put in a little glue. You don't have to glue these if you don't want to. I personally like to glue mine so that they don't flop open on the inside. And I'm just going to fold that angled tab back. And it'll it'll stick here in just a second. And again, that's on your tall tab. You're going to fold it back and you can see that it's cut at an angle. Okay. And then we're just going to put some glue on top here. Pay attention to those corners. You don't want them catching things and coming loose. We're just going to fold that over. Keep it straight and lined up. And I'm just going to take my bone folder and go inside and press those down and distribute that glue. Something on my box. I scraped it or something. Okay. And then you can just press in your sides here. This is where we did those funky folds. And if it's not wanting to go right here, this is where your seam was. You can give that another little pinch from the inside. Because it's going to be a little stiff because you have double the cardstock there. But it'll, it'll try to lay flat on you. Just so gonna take my bone folder in there and give it another little rub. Get it to go. There we go. And then you can pull this flap in and tuck it. Let's put our shirt in first. And I'm going to place it. Make sure you let yours dry really good. Mine's not dried yet, and that's trying to pop loose. Oh yeah. Got our shirt in there and I've got mine with the neck up. Totally how you want to do it. It's totally up to you. And then I'm just going to tuck that flap in while I pull up there. It wants to be stubborn. There we go. You tuck your flap in and then you're good to go or you can put on your handles. Now I'm just going to take this and right here on each side are two little slits in the box and I just take my tweezers kind of give them a little push to separate it just a little and if you're not using the handle you don't have to do that and they probably won't show up. Okay. And then I'm just going to take one side I'm just going to push that in. It's going to be a little snug. It's supposed to be. Try not to bend your cardstock. Just like so. And then we're going to come over to the other side. Kind of just roll it up a little bit. And ooh, don't bend. I think I will go in and make those just a teeny bit longer for you guys. 
I forgot I adjusted these tabs and then I didn't make those lines longer. But yours will be, your, yours will work fine. I will go in and fix it. It'll only take a couple of seconds. Okay, and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. And again, I'm just, you could probably get them in without doing this. It's just, for me, easier and I can see them easier. I just take my tweezers and just push in there a little bit. Maybe it doesn't need to be adjusted. Maybe it was just me. This needs to be snug, though. There we go. How cute is this? Love, love, love. Since I have a mark on my box back here, I don't know if it will erase or not. Gummy eraser. Yeah, it came off. There we go. Because this is actually the front of the box. And I'm just going to glue on a little logo. And you can write your logo or whatever that you want on there. I just have this one in the file that says Splash. The little whale drawn on it out of the papers. And then I'm just going to place that right there. And again, if you're selling or something like that, you can just pop that on there. I'm going to use a pop dot and make mine raised up. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. Super cute. Love, love, love. All right, guys, that completes the series on t-shirt boxes. And you can use these for many other things other than t-shirts, too. The overall size, because I know people are going to ask, is five and a half inches wide by just over five and a half inches. Well, it's probably six inches tall because of the peak. So um, good size, and it will hold, and you can carry these around. Um, nice little box. So you guys enjoy. And I will catch you on the next video um, Monday. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.